has an obligation to read regarding the history of Masjid Al-Aqsa and regarding Jerusalem. The ulama have an obligation of teaching students the importance of Al-Quds Al-Sharif, avoid these sins in private and avoid them in public. Once we do this and our spiritual level is raised, then our knowledge, we attain knowledge, then we must act on that knowledge. What is the action that we must take? Firstly, as a public and as ulama, we must travel to Al-Quds Al-Sharif whenever possible. For those there is, for whom there is no constraint to travel, they must travel to Al-Quds Al-Sharif. This will what encourage the people of Palestine, meaning in their resistance. Likewise, we must remember that the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam foretold in a hadith narrated by Imam Al-Tirmidhi in Al-Jami and others that in the end of times the Khilafah, the Caliphate, the capital of the Caliphate shall be Al-Quds Al-Sharif. This is giving us hope because the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam foretold that the black banners that shall arise shall place those banners in Al-Quds and this is why when the Masad influence groups appeared with black banners we said that these cannot be the Khilafah unless they place those banners in Al-Quds Al-Sharif those banners were not placed in Al-Quds Al-Sharif instead they killed Muslims instead they slaughtered minority groups that had been living in peace with Muslims for hundreds of years so how can we as a public and ulama do something you can torture, you can waterboard, you can imprison, you can make places like Guantanamo Bay. You can do all of this, but you will never kill an idea. And that idea is that if only a million Muslims marched onto Palestine today, no one will be able to stop them. If one million Muslims marched from somewhere like Turkey today one million Muslims and this idea now it is out there now people will grab this idea this idea can spread into Pakistan and we know there are millions of people ready in Pakistan alone a nation like Pakistan there are people in Afghanistan who are ready there are people in Iraq who are ready there are people in Iran who are ready there are people in Turkey who are ready there are people in Arabia who are ready there are people in Egypt who are ready and their numbers shall exceed one million if those one million cross the border and enter into Jerusalem no one will be able to stop them Walhamdulillahi Rabbi.